Bloomies are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And we went to the bins the other day. Do you remember which day? Uh, two days ago? <laughs> no, I think it's like four or five days ago now. Oh, I thought it was Thursday. I think it was August 1st. Oh, well this is the 5th, so. Yeah. Okay, four days ago. A few days ago. So this stuff has been sitting here waiting for us to film. And then we did this entire video last night and realized our air condition was blowing on our camera the entire time. So all you heard was shh, shh, shh like that. Well, that wasn't all you heard, but it would have been very distracting. It was very distracting. So we're going to try this again. Mm -hmm. um, I will tell you how much we spent when we get to the receipt. <laughs> so I'll do the first thing. Okay, sure. Linens are 99 cents, and I found this wall hanging. It's quite large, it's really pretty, and I paid about 80 cents for it. It's really good shape, and it has elephants. The next item are Quacker Factory, and I know they're Quacker Factory not only by the label, but because of the little heart rhinestone, and that means they're dream jeans. And this company was founded by Jeannie Bice, who's passed away. So, do all of her designs have a little heart bedazzled heart? Not necessarily. That's oh. a good question. Just the dream jeans okay. have this little heart. And so it actually all of her says dream, dream jeans. All of her dream jeans have Yes. Okay. Cracker Factory is her company and usually they're known for having like fun designs. Like, you know, when I used to mm -hmm. like wear things at the retirement community, like flamingos and peacocks and mm -hmm. a lot of those were hers. So, so they don't duck anybody. Huh. Actually, her kind of signal, if you see somebody else wearing Quacker Factory, you're supposed to quack. Okay. And that's the thing. That's the thing people really do. I mean, not me, because I'd be so embarrassed. But mm -hmm. So, one pair of those size large. And I found another pair of those. And these are a size 2X. And again, it has the little... Dream Factory. So close. Dream jeans. Dream jeans. <laughs> and these are shorts. But maybe where they make the jeans is a, is a dream factory. That would be pretty good. Those people, um, those people, that sounded condescending. The people who wear her have a cruise once a year. And oh. everybody on the cruise, it's like the Genie Bice cruise or whatever they call the cruise. They wear their Quacker factory. And it's just a whole cruise of people wearing that label, which is insane and fun. I'm thinking there's a lot of quacking going on in that particular cruise. <laughs> These are for me. They are Lee, size 10, little stripey shorts. Soft waist. Anything on my waist needs to be soft anymore, just with everything that's happened. So I'm just going to keep showing good, all the good. clothing. Good, no, good. Okay. I like it. Tankini top. This is a larger size. It is fit for you in a size 20W. Is 20 W, is that wide? Is that what that's? Women's. Women's, okay. Hmm. So it's more of a plus size. That's why I was asking if that was yes. what the W was. Ann Taylor Loft, size 10. What color would you call this? I would call that mauve. Oh, mauve's a good color. Yes. Yeah, I think so I'm going to use that. Ann Taylor Loft is just a little step below Ann Taylor. Yeah, my girl's somehow now grown very fond of giving high fives. So much so that today so we amazing. went to Best Buy because we felt it was time for her to have a new computer because she does so much stuff on that. So we went and got an iMac. So we're going to switch over. So we need subscribers, man. You gotta pay for the computer, okay? <laughs> Okay, We've never it, had an i anything. Yeah. No Apple products. We've never had iPhones, iPods. We've always gone with like a lesser computer. Well, not a lesser. We have really good computers. It's a really good one, but, but it's it not like you know Apple. Yes. Apple's like. Oh. Yeah. So, anyways, the, we went there yesterday, and we wanted to get the guy that helped us yesterday, but he called off today. <laughs> so we had another gentleman there, a couple guys, super nice guys. 
and we told him that this student you get, get a student student, di discount. student discount yeah. yes for anybody basically but basically you yeah. just have to tell them you yeah. possibly are going to college or have been to college and you get a you student could, discount. you could be a student of the world yeah but anyways we that the previous gentleman told us that it was going to be 150 off and here's it turned out it was only supposed to be 50 off so the guy was super nice in finding us a way to get it down almost close to that with some other reference some other way he did it we don't care it was very nice of him but anyways my girl was so happy she high five the guy she's like yes thanks high five I know. No, and then her face was all red after she left so embarrassing i just do things and then i get embarrassed by but that's fine that was it was definitely worthy of a high five don't get me wrong i know he saved us almost 150 dollars yeah which was awesome yes okay so j crew size four these are madras plaid it's kind of where the patchwork probably madras plaid patchwork is what i'll put in them so is madras a word for anything plaid like or something it's or, a certain kind of plaid so it's not specific to this company though no no so it's not. there could be a whole bunch of madras plaid out there somewhere yep and people still look for madras plaid even when J. Crew was doing it like in the early 2000s, they're still doing it today. It's just one of those like, That's you fine. know, you look That's at this fun. and think Cape Cod or Martha's Vineyard, don't you? Um, what, no. what do you think of? I like think a it's, preppy. I, it's fun. I like it's fun. It's, it's fun. Plan. I think of a beachy vacation yeah. beachy. Yeah, me too. Another tankini top. This one was a smaller size. It is a size. 10 made in the USA by Echo or Eco Swim. I would say Eco Swim. I liked the color that it was like this cream color and it's got really pretty darts. Like the seams, they have like princess seams on this. Mm -hmm. Do you see the seaming on that? Yes, but what you said it has princess darts. Yeah, darts are a sewing term, like okay. when things come together in a certain way. But this is is more like this, and that's more of a princess seam. Okay, but and that's the, rare to the see. term princess dart, I, I don't understand. I mean, They're two different things. Okay. Princess seam and darts. Okay. These have both. This so, has both. So what is a dart then? I'm gonna get it wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's right. a way a sewing term of how things come together, like okay. the way the seam. Okay. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure most, somebody will I'm sure most of the people watching this know, but you threw out oh, yeah. these terms and I have no idea what they are, oh, so yeah. I'm wondering if somebody out there... And maybe I don't have an idea either. Somebody out there is like, yeah, okay. But it has ruffles. I, I really like the color. Okay. And yeah. it was at the bins. This is all bin This vibes. is all bin stuff, yes. Gap stretch, size 14. These are cuffed, like cropped pants, longer shorts. Not capris. Uh, maybe I'll throw a period. I really don't know the difference between cropped and capri. <laughs> okay. One is slightly longer than the other. I, I never know. All right. I think capris are longer than... Do you? Yes, I really You do. might be right. Yes. This was brand new with tags. Old Navy. It has a shelf bra, which means that there's elastic right underneath the bust. So like a sports bra built in, it's called a shelf bra. And so people have a shelf for their... For their Bra. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like that I, you're I just called Well, I don't know what else. I didn't want to be, you know. Boobies. Yeah, I didn't want to yeah. say that. Uh, but it's brand new with tags. This would retail for sixteen fifty. I think I should have tried this on before this, but I think I'll keep it. And if not, I'll probably sell it for 9 or $10. Okay. Okay. And then the last item is vintage. High Tide by White Stag, and I'll show you the label. Here we go. And it is smocked all around the top, and then it's maxi dress. And the colors aren't coming off on camera, but they are very bright. Wouldn't you say they're like... They're very bright. It's very fun. Like very a fluorescent fun. color. Yes. Yeah. That would look great on my OLED TV. It would. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that's all the clothing. Well, we'll take a short uh, just diversion from that. Since you mentioned high tide, here where we live in uh, Bradenton, we, we live like eight miles from the best beaches we've ever seen. So we're very fortunate. But every once in a while, a thing comes in called red tide. Red tide is 
an algae that forms in the water and, and pulls the oxygen out of the water. Uh, consequently, a lot of you know fish and marine life die. It's a very bad thing. Even it, it even is in the air. Like if you're close to the beach and if you had if you had really bad asthma or something, it would kick that up. So we had some Pennsylvania friends that had reservations all made. They were on their way to us tomorrow. I think tomorrow they, morning they were gonna and, leave. Yeah. So I you know, we, we had to we call them and said yeah. you know and the the company was very nice and you know you know understanding and. Uh, going to refund her deposit and all that stuff. So we just want to say, sorry, our Pennsylvania friends will miss you, but uh, hello. So we'll send a little shout out to them. Yes. And the beach might be okay in about a month or so. We just don't know. Just Sometimes don't, it's longer yeah. than others and they'll start to clean up the marine life as it. Yes. It's very sad. We so hate to up. see that happen. Yeah. But, you can't go yeah. in the water. Most people can't be at the beach. I don't even have severe respiratory issues and it just like makes you want to cough it gets into your throat it's, little, yeah, it's no good but we have a heated pool so yay we'll go to that yeah good point mm -hmm. what oh, do you find okay i'll start off with my heaviest item this is a juice omatic okay it's very heavy it's old school it's made out of cast and you put this little lever up okay then this comes out and you put your grapefruit or orange or whatever it may be in there. And then you bring this little lever down and squish all the juices out. Where do the juices go? Just in this cup? Yeah, the okay. juices go in this cup. Yeah, so well, this, this, this top part comes off. It's a very well-made piece. Yes, yeah, see? Oh, and in the... So okay. then the juice was in here. Although that always seems to me like you it's never... It's very much juice. Well, you never get very... Like you have to squeeze so many... Like if you wanted orange juice, you'd have to squeeze yeah. so many oranges to get juice. Yeah. And just buy orange juice. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Maybe yeah. somebody's orange trees or made special yeah. like orange cocktail or something. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'm sure that somebody wants that for a, a fun vintage item. Yeah. Plus it cleaned up beautifully. It's yes. such a good color and it's that chippy kind of metal. So good. Cast. I think that's called cast. Cast. Mm -hmm. Next, we will do this bag of mystery products that I bought. And I opened it up when I got home. What was that? This was something that fell on the floor. It was under the couch. I don't know if it was in there. Probably. Okay. That's so funny. So this bag is just a whole bunch of new Japanese products. Some of them are iron-ons. Some of them are Hello Kitties. I, I don't even know what some of these are. This little fish here, he's like, Ooh, I hope I don't have to go swim in the red tide. <laughs> I hope it goes away. Here's go. Ooh, I'll get down here. This one lives in a tin. It's just a little cat. I don't know. They were just adorable. I'll sell them as a lot. Do you want to see more of them? Well, uh, no, not necessarily. This one might be a tattoo or a sticker of sorts. Yes. They look very Asian themed. Yes, they do. So somebody obviously went over there and picked up a whole bunch of stuff. Yes, very fun. Yeah, I might be able to get 20 or $30 out of it. Your turn. My turn, okay. Uh, uh, this is... Oh! <laughs> Do you want me to hold some? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, along my learning curve, I find that my girl seems to have a fondness for creepy dolls. And although these aren't nearly as creepy because they have a little smiley face on them, I still like thought, it. well, this is something that she might think I should pick up. So I bought, I picked these up and she said yes. Yes, we have <laughs> six of them now. We're the owners of six doll heads and 12 arms. Couple different color hair. But for some reason they have a head and hands. Yeah. But no legs. No body. No body. You've got to supply your own body. <laughs> but it says it's not a toy, by the way. Oh, it's not a toy? Well, it's, it's it apparently a serious. It seems like a toy, yeah. <laughs> it's a serious doll. Yeah, I liked them. I didn't I, look them up. I'm sure what they mean by that is it's the people that make dolls and like display them. It's not for kids okay. to play with. Yeah. yeah. They're like hard rubber, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see how we do with them. Okay.
One thing I've been enjoying is keeping track of what sells under what video. So if you go back to one of our previous hauls, just like the last two or three, you'll see that I've been putting what sells and for what price so we can, you know, see if we're making money. And we are, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. The next items, a manicure kit, brand new with tags for my niece. Well, I'll open this up and show them. I'm sure people know what a manicure kit is, but still. Yeah. I liked the colors. Yeah. She's nine. Lisa will help her with that. Some Disney conditioner and shampoo from their resort looked new. Again, this will just be put in a niece box. A kid's yoga deck with yoga cards. <laughs> and we looked at these last night and this one's my favorite. It's just simply a person laying down. Okay, so what you do with these is you, if you were with your friends, you would go through them and if you got a card to do a bridge, then people would have to do a bridge. Is that how that would work? Probably. Maybe. Yeah. And then I had previously told you a story about how my friends and I used to go through a deck of cards doing push-ups. So you'd flip the card up. If the card was a one, you did one push-up. If it was two, so on. And like an ace, when you're playing rummy, you know, it's worth 15 or one. An ace can be one or a 15. Is so, it 15? I didn't know. That. I think that's what it is. Okay. So when it came to those, you know, you had a choice of doing one push-up or 15, depending on how tired you were in the, the middle of the thing. But that's quite a workout if you go through a deck of cards and do that. Yeah, I would think so. I can't even do one push-up. <laughs> I can lay on the floor, though. You can lay, well, perhaps you should do I the, could do kids' the, yoga. The kids' yoga. <laughs> yeah. And I picked up a thing of tarot cards. This is called The Magician, and these look like they're bringing about $15, $20. And just from our point of view, these are just a fun thing. We we don't we don't we don't use believe, believe in any or... of this stuff. That's so just a fun thing. If you happen to believe in it, that's your prerogative. But that's yeah. what we got. Yep. Fun. Okay, you go. This is in the box. This is an extra USB ports, and it has all of the accoutrements needed. The even a little soft carrying case to plug in <laughs> and the wire to plug in but I will show you how the this is a seven port hub Activia so there's five across the front there and then there is one in each end so a seven port USB hub if you needed extra USBs because sometimes computers only have a few and people have other stuff yeah for sure our old computer only had three working USBs mm -hmm. and one of them was our keyboard and one of them was our mouse and then we ever had one extra so that would have been good for that but no the mac yeah. has five i think they said i think four usbs and three something something yeah USBs. i'm, I'm sure the bottom line is we probably won't need that no so i don't think so. so yes nope next item is a really heavy i thought it was pewter bear said maybe it was just cast uh, is that what she said? No, I didn't say that about this. Oh. That was about this. Uh, it's a lighter. Yeah, it's, it's a, a table lighter, lighter table it's called. Lighter. Yes. And the manufacturer is on the bottom. Yes, and it, it needs flint in it in order for it to function. ASR. Some of these look like they're going for about $15, $20. So. Well worth whatever she charged me for it. And we had the person who did the good pricing again. She didn't even make me take some of the stuff out of my cart. Oh, oh yes. It's, She's like, oh, I'll just leave the rest of it. And I was like, done. Mm -hmm. Hey, you can go now. Okay. <laughs> well, we are under the impression that forehead VCRs are in demand now. And so when we see them, we pick them up. Unfortunately, we picked two up that we have sitting here and we've yet to see if they're actually going to sell. But I haven't listed them. <laughs> we haven't listed them. I need but, to get on the ball yeah. there. So I picked so up we another. Picked up another I picked one. up another one in the meantime to see if they do sell good. If not, we yeah, don't. I need to put them on. I was not putting. Um, I put on a bunch of stuff that it was summer related that I needed to sell because of the season coming to an end. And then with our friend coming this week, I you know was getting the house a little bit put together, and now I don't have to do that. Have to do that. But we will still have a house tour. 
Yeah, so we'll be cleaning for that. Yes. My next item, I put them in a bag, are some wooden toys by the Montgomery Schoolhouse, Inc. in Vermont. And they're just transportation toys, different cars and planes and trains, and I think they'll bring like $20. Look at this one. This one has people. That's you oh. and me. <laughs> That's fun. They're well made toys. Yes, I would agree they are. Your turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bear did a lot better than I did, by the way. <laughs> He's doing so well. Well, she says that, but the only reason I am able to do anything at all is because of her. She's the expert. So, I mean, I just fill up a bunch of stuff in the cart that I think, and then she goes through it before we purchase it, and then some, some are hit and some are not. So we're just giving her the credit for that. These are halogen outdoor lights, and they look like a small headlight out of a vehicle because, here we go, and the back of them are cool well just had the, the little slide in slide on attachments some of them so i picked them all up and she thinks i think they're, they're worth maybe like 60 dollars altogether. these do pretty well you can buy one for about 20 25 dollars and we have five of them yay love that find some silly stuff i found blue ribbon for packaging some clusters of roses, again, for packaging. Some stickers. I get stickers once in a while. Yep. You put a sticker on my tray. Oh, green, really? It's turquoise. It's like, oh, you want pink? Yes. Okay, I'll put the turquoise on. Okay, thanks. Okay, pink star. There. Good. No, I have an aqua star. So stars. They had a bunch of birthday favors. I don't know what they're called. Like when your kids go home from a birthday party, they hand them a bag, like a party bag. I don't know what the bags are called. Anyway. Bling. <laughs> it says super prizes on it. Um, so this one is a fake pearl bracelet. I'm sure my niece will get a kick out of it. Then I found these. And if you remember from last time, I found a Tiffany's box. And now I've found two Tiffany's, I guess like jewelry cases dust cases of some kind. Well, they're, yeah, they're holders for them. So yeah, this must be for like a pen or a necklace maybe, and then a smaller thing. Do you still have the box? I do. I'm so gonna put those together. Yep. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. I am not high fiving. <laughs> <laughs> some tissue paper in aqua in blue, brand new bag. Some vinyl letters. I'm not sure exactly why I picked these up. They were blue. Okay, and they're sticky on the back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure they're for mailboxes or for or, or houses or whatever. There we go. I put that in a weird spot, but yeah. You did, yes. I'll come up with some kind of use for them. I found some Nancy wrapping paper. So if your name is Nancy and you want to buy from me, I can wrap your gift in wrapping paper that says Nancy. How fun. Right? Yes. I will be so excited when somebody's name is Nancy and I'm like, oh, I could use the paper. You brought this over, so this was technically, technically yours. Did you want to tell about it? Well, it's just a Highlights Magazine hidden pictures puzzle. And my girl said she always loved Highlight Magazines, being the genius type that she is, sitting around Most as a child. Most people liked Highlights okay. Magazine. But there currently is on Netflix a show about Highlights Magazine. It's called 44 Pages. So if maybe you, they all had 44 pages. Maybe. This is like a book. So I'm sure you'd find that out if you watch the Netflix. I'm gonna have to watch it. Yes. I'm very excited about that. That's good. But this has all the stickers. Like every single sticker, and there's 280 plus stickers are there. So this is definitely going to Tima. Well, you can tell me how the 44 pages was. Oh, you don't want to watch it no. with me? <laughs> I don't want to watch it. But I got a lace magazine. <laughs> Drop something. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was from the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, favorite animals, learning cards in English, Spanish, and French. 
So this stuff does pretty well at this time of year because of homeschoolers or people getting together a curriculum. So I'll try to list this as soon as possible. Do you have a favorite animal? Mm, the dolphin. Okay, I'll give you that. A dolphin, okay, that would be a wild animal. Oh. Do you have a favorite domestic animal? Oh my goodness, this puffin is adorable. Can I change my answer to puffin? Well, what is it? That's, that's the name of that? Yeah, you're holding it too high though. Okay. Yeah, that's a puffin. It's a bird. Okay, um, so you want this to be your favorite animal? Yes. Now? The puffin, okay. Puffin's your favorite wild animal. Okay. Now we need a domestic animal. Puppies. Okay, a certain type of puppy though. You would, I mean, you can. I mean, no, not a certain type. Just any small puppy. Okay. Okay. I'm into puppies. All right. Well, who does? I mean, you can't really go wrong with puppies. <laughs> you know. So. What's uh, yours? Well, my favorite uh, domestic animal would be pig. I suppose because the, my dad and I raised pigs. And yes. I used to sit and pet them, and they're very cute. They're also delicious. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, that would be one of them. Certainly, you know, a little, we once had a little, uh, Maltese. We did. We puppy. owned a Maltese yeah. puppy yeah. for a while. So those are extremely cute. Oh but goodness. the wild animals, of course, is the lion because he's the king of the jungle. And obviously the bear, even though he spells it B-E-A-R and I spell mine B-A-R-E. I still, that would be my favorite wild animal. Two of them. Good answers. I got some baby wrapping paper. It's just old Hallmark wrapping paper. I am dropping things. Oh, here's the receipt. We spent $30.74 on everything. So we've got a bunch more. Should I keep going or you sure, go? Sure, go ahead. Okay, Lexus. This is their book, the owner's manual, the owner's manual, something guide, a pen. There's some literature in there. These do pretty well, especially for older cars. Um, I know when I worked at BMW, we wanted to make sure even the older cars would have this kind of stuff. So sometimes we go online and buy it to put in the older car. Yeah. So I bet you this will bring about 30 or $40. My dad used to, if we'd go, if he'd go to purchase an, a used car, which he always did, uh, he would, that, this would be something like, oh, the owner's manual's in there. My dad would actually ask the car dealer, he's like, can I have the number of the guy that owned this car? And then he would call up and talk to this guy like, what kind of oil did you use in it? Because he didn't want to change the brand of oil for some reason. He felt Your like, dad was really into cars. Yeah, so, but that's the kind of stuff. And we can't use this for our Lexus because ours is a 2018. It's brand new. <laughs> no. We, we didn't buy a brand new Lexus <laughs> and a brand new computer. <laughs> no, we have a, a wonderful 2008 Chrysler Town & Country van. Yeah, we, we like it. Mm -hmm. And the last thing sitting on my lap is a Bible. And I looked these up and these seem to be going for about 40 or $50. This is a very specific kind of Bible. I forget what kind though. Do you remember what this? You mean is it a King James? The Golden or? Book Edition. It's oh. the Holy Bible Golden Book Edition. Okay, and it, I'm it's sure it's King, King James. James. It yes. is King yes. James. But I thought there were drawings in here. How do you say drawings? Drawings. Illustrations. Oh, no, but like, how do you pronounce the actual oh. word drawings? Drawings. You say drawings. What else would I say? I don't know. It just sounded funny for, hmm. for me to say it, but there's some illustrations in it. <laughs> okay, if you have been playing along with us at home, you know that the other day we found a blood pressure machine and tested it on camera and found out that the numbers weren't exactly showing up like they should. So we are going to test this one as well. See how you do. Mm -hmm. The only thing we're not sure of is, that's fine, I got okay. it, um, is we're not, there's a, a little thing on the side, a little over here that says different types of pressures. We're not sure what that means. Yeah. So let's just put it on 240. Okay. And we'll press that and. Maybe it's just how tight it gets on your arm because I put mine on 150 and mine barely did anything. Okay. Right. So you might have selected the most pressure. Well, you can theorize all you like, but we're still not going to know <laughs> so what know. it is. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Somebody um, in my comments in the last one told me that perhaps we screwed it up basically. She said it nicer, but she told me how to redo that. So thank you so much. We will work on that. Not on video right now, but that'd be good if the other one was working too. 
doing something. 136 over 87. Okay. Uh, you so are you're a little high. You, you are absolutely correct. When I put this little switch up to 240, that's where it stopped squeezing and started back the oh, other way. Okay. I watched it. Okay. Do me now. We can cut it out, but, but do me now. Okay. Okay. It's a fun new game we have. Come over and we'll do your blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's going to want their blood pressure? Uh, Jason. <laughs> he sure is. I know exactly when you said that. You going to do this yourself? I think so. Okay. Okay, now what would you like the pressure on? Uh, 150. I'm not higher than 150. Okay. And so what were you? 136 over... S over 80... Or 67? Mm -hmm. 77? 70, 70. My, my, no, my heart rate was 77. Oh! So it was 136 over 80 something or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what happens. It only goes up to yes. 150. That's really nice. 104 over 82 and a heart rate of 95. That 82 is a little high for me, but I'll take it. Okay. We're, we're very happy with our new machine, <laughs> which we will be selling. Yes. This is a vintage shower radio, which is also, let me see how I can read that, uh, uh, a weather, you can even get the weather on that. That could be good for somebody's hurricane box. Yes, and I think this went with it to, to the little... Yeah, we're not exactly sure where the back is. Yeah, we're a bit concerned. I can't imagine us... Getting it without the back. Buying it without the back, but I don't know where it went to. can't seem to locate it. <laughs> so hopefully we locate that. We're very clean people normally. It's <laughs> organized, but chaotic right now. This is a little Samsonite carrying case for a camera that I found inside. Another good find. I should look and this up. It has all of the a little cord there to plug it in, a little carrying case. And the camera. Mm -hmm. And it's a Canon. Yes. So. And, and the reason, you want to tell them the reason people like to keep... Well, I know the reason I like to keep the same thing and why I put off getting a computer for so long is because I get used to the thing. And then if it goes bad, it would be awesome to just get the same exact thing because there's no learning curve. So when you get a new computer or camera, you have to relearn all of these buttons. So I don't know how good this one is and how well it'll sell, but I'm going to guess it's going to go for at least $20 and possibly a lot more. Okay. The one gentleman at Best Buy assured us that going from a PC to a Mac was way way easier learning curve than going from a Mac back to a PC. We will let you know how that plays out. <laughs> it's currently sitting there. <laughs> so I have labels to print tonight and I want to make sure I know how to do that. So we're going to set it up later and then see. It looks really cool. <laughs> but it needs to do more than look really cool. Okay, I have a few more items. I found this. This little guy is on a very long wire and he's meant to just be pushed and when you push him... Put this behind it. Oh, okay. Now, now turn the wheels. I, can hear all of this. I can't even see him. Okay. Okay. So when you turn the wheels, his little legs move. I don't know if you're going to be able to see no, them, but... See. So when you push this against the ground, his legs move and it's like a little fun thing. Well, what I'm sure. What is this called? This, Anybody this know? A fake walker, a bicycle. Did you walk him? Yeah. And then, I, you know, I'm sure you remember various fads years ago. People had pet rocks and whatever. It's there true. used to be a fad where people would walk an imaginary dog. Oh yeah. They just had a wire with a with a collar on it. So okay. this is similar so this to is that. A similar, similar thing. Similar to the I don't know. He's cute. And <laughs> the last thing I found, I'm so excited about. This is the Simply Fit board. Have you heard of this? Uh, well, I knew it was some sort of fitness thing, and I saw that, and I passed because I didn't, I didn't get it because I had no idea it was worth it. These still sell. You basically balance yourself one leg over here, one foot, foot, foot. You get it. Okay. Um, and then you twist. Okay. And it works your core and your abs and your sure. obliques. And I believe these were on Shark Tank. I don't know if it's the exact company, but I'm pretty sure. And I have looked at these to purchase for myself and they're like 40 or 50 dollars 
So I did it the other day and nearly um, fell off of it. So this will be sold. Did you think that that was a good thing for you to try? Personally? I sure did. You thought you could do that? I really did. Okay. <laughs> I really thought I could do that. It's just balancing on a piece of plastic. Well, I, I, I'm hesitant to say anything because, you know, I hope that it's conveyed that I'm, I love her very much and I try not to say anything negative, but in fairness, she, she trips just walking through the house. So why she thought she could be balanced on know. a board. I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Not happened. Yeah. What else do you got? Yeah. This was something I knew specifically on my own was good because of previous purchases and previous items I've learned from my girl's expertise. It is a Sunbeam. A Sunbeam electric blank controller and it is dual controls, it's digital and I also knew that we, she never wants the blanket to go with it. This had a blanket and I just unplugged it and brought this. Yeah, so. and it's got the fork prong, so way to go. This might be worth about $20. So you have nothing else from the bins? I don't think so. So you got so. the free stuff? Yeah. Okay. My last thing is uh, it's a rainbow. Uh, I was trying to remember the name without looking at it because she's told me a couple times. Well, it, it's a bear that you make. What do they call these? Build-a-bear. Build-a-bear. Build-a-bear that you make. And she said that sometimes in them they have a little note. Like a heart with a little note on it or, or something. Or perhaps a toy or something sometimes. Did like a say? mechanical voice yes. box. So this one, this one may, may have a letter in it, but we're, we're not going to perform an autopsy <laughs> on it and see where it is. So. He's really soft though. Very, very cute. And I will machine wash him. Some people asked how I do this. I just throw that in the machine because he has no... Hey, there it is. Awesome. So somebody recorded a laugh and put it in there. That actually kind of sounds like Tima's laugh a little bit. Oh, it does. It does sound like Tima. Yeah, I think that's the only one. But I didn't think to check the foot. That's funny. I know. Is it in a heart shape? Do you think? No, it's just a circle. Circle. I'm sure it's just a little thing. Yeah, very cool. Yes. So that was our bin haul. And like I said, we spent $30, $30.74. So that will probably, we'll, we'll make a few hundred dollars on all of this stuff. So the next part of this is I went to the P.O. Box the other day when we went to the beach and I had two packages waiting for me. So two subscribers have sent me things. So I'm going to get those now. Since we tried to make a video unsuccessfully yesterday with the air conditioning, you won't see her actually opening the items yes. she already did. But she was very good in leaving it in the car the entire time I she know. got home, which was quite a stretch for her because she wanted, she's always anxious, understandably anxious to see what was in it. Yes. So JJ sent me a whole bunch of origami on this lovely note. Um, this is just part of them. I have a ton more here and they're amazing. Look at these ones that are dresses. They're little fancy dresses and she added lace to some of them and she added washi tape. This one's got a little button. Oh my goodness, they're so good. These are I like love little them so swans. Much. And, Cranes, I bet. Cranes. And I have to be honest here, my, my last little demonstration, you really didn't pay too much oh, attention, attention to. Attention so, so I'm going to give you another chance. Okay. Okay, these are love swans. They're like, <gasps> whoa! Ooh, ooh, we're just swimming past like, Oh, oh, love swans. And now we just keep going past. My, my love swans. And now, and now the love swans have to go down the waterfall. I think they're cranes. The love swans <laughs> now have to go down together. Lovely. Thank you, cranes. So she sent us two packages of those, which was so nice. We also received some paper that says Dream Big and it's aqua and three rolls of aqua washi tape. 
washi tape you use to put on packages to make them special or even letters. Yep. Even bills. Bills, yeah. I use a lot of washi tape. So thank you so much. And some used stockings. So yay! I really appreciate it. And then I had another package sent to me. Um, I wasn't sure by a viewer, I'm just going to say. And she sent me a turquoise, it's so soft, Texas t-shirt with a v-neck. So you'll be seeing me wearing this a lot. I feel how soft it is. Yes, and to my credit, we are really late in the game for me to bring in a song reference, but one is definitely necessary. <laughs> okay. T for Texas. Who out there knows the song T for Texas? An old rhythm and blues song uh, that actually Skinner did quite well, but various people have covered T for Texas. So. I didn't know that song. Mm -hmm. And some more used stockings. So thank you so much for those. And yesterday we met a viewer. She was lovely. Her and her husband invited us over to their house. And she had a bag of things for me. We're sworn to secrecy though. She doesn't want her name mentioned. So I know. We're going to so call her sweet. the sunglass lady. You'll see why in a You'll second. You'll see why. So there's a whole bunch of stockings, pantyhose, and how many pairs of glasses? One, two, three, four, five. Hold on, I've got more. Six. I think that's it. Six pairs of glasses. Six pairs of glasses, most of which are sunglasses. One pair in particular is amazingly a prescription and it is exactly her prescription. They're my prescription. Yes. So how crazy is that? Like I can see. It's a very low prescription. My my um thing is my prescription is about twenty one hundred, maybe a little bit less, but that's amazing. She had Lasix and it's worn off just a little bit, but yeah, still, but it used to be it's still way better than it was. Yeah, it used Lasix. to be twenty nine hundred or twenty nine twenty five, which is close to being legally blind. So it helped a lot. But thank you for all of those. And she also gave me um, vintage bows, which are adorable. And the little things you put in Crocs. The, the holes for Crocs. The I, shoes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, good point. Yes. Um, there's a whole bunch of them in here. I have to look up what these are called because I'm sure they have, oh, jib, gibbets, they're called. Mm -hmm. Whole bunch of gibbets. She also gave us three of these crokies. I wear retainers. So Bear said you wore them like around your neck. Yes, you, you put the, the arms of the sunglasses or glasses in here and then one and then they can wear them around your neck and they can hang yep and lastly two belt buckles and they're really heavy this one says united states air force retired and this one says i will give up my gun when they pry it from my gold cold dead fingers that would be an nra uh, national rifles association type of belt okay so thank you again. You guys were lovely. It was wonderful to meet you. And I just realized I had something else from the bins and it was probably the highest. Yeah, well, so it's good. We saved it for last. We saved it for last. Mm -hmm. This is Jetmond made in Norway. So I'm going to come up close with this one. And it's a little sculpture. He's kicking his feet across and he's hand painted. And I looked him up and he seems to be going for, I don't want to say too high, but I'm pretty sure they're going for about 60 to $80. So. Great. One thing. Great. That's a hedgehog. Is that what that is? I have no idea what it is. It's some kind of tree. I think he's like a tree nymph or something. You see how he's painted like a tree. So it's a fictional thing, it's oh, not yeah. an actual thing. No, oh, I think oh. it's a fictional Oh, okay, because a hedgehog is a real thing, yes. right? Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, did, we forgot to include those glasses. Eight. And we have a lot of glasses. <laughs> <laughs> really good stuff, though, she gave us. Yes. Do we have anything else to say? Uh, I don't think so. Nothing at all? What are we going to do the rest of the day? Uh, we're going to clean, well, I'm going to start cleaning a little bit and I have to play this evening. I have oh, a, a right, late gig. So yes. 
I have to play in about three hours from now. Yep. So I'm gonna do put that. Put all this stuff away. And put this stuff away, yes. And maybe set up our computer later. Maybe set up the computer later. Maybe take a nap first. Okay. That's fine. Thank you so much for watching and on three. One, two, three. We hope, we hope your, your day, day is blooming with, with joy. joy. Thanks. See ya.